Welcome. So let's talk about the interface. At the very top here we have a dictionary. This is where you confirm that a particular word is in the dictionary or not. Glory. If it is in the dictionary it will show you like we have up here. Glory and present in the dictionary. And if it is not found in the dictionary, for example, I'm not sure if so, let me put something like this. Now this is not found in the dictionary as you can see clearly up here. And then you also notice we have this uh, small button there which if you if you hover over it will ask you to add that word to the dictionary and in case you add it it will tell you that the word has been added to the dictionary. The next thing says it is how we change the text color and you can also pick a very specific color by coming here and defining your color according to how you want it. You can go back to the default text color by clicking here. And this F is to set the font for the body. It picks a random out of the few fonts that are available. This other one is to pick the background color for the body. If we go here with the green, we got a green body going on. We go with pick white, we got a white body going on. You pick black. We're gonna have a black body going on. So this is where you define a very specific color that you want. But you can also come here and just go across random colors and of course you can use this tool button to undo and redo you can undo the previous colors and of course we can redo this is the default color here feature here for the default background and the default transparency it just toggles between these two and the last one here is for a random background color with uh, a certain level of transparency after that we just have where we can clear the view of all the stuff here we can just click here and then we clear it up even if we have that feel going on there like let me just go here select a color whenever you select a color it shows a preview on the field so you may want to clear that up by coming here and clearing it up even if you don't clear it the moment you hit start game it's going to clear the field and this is where you can put your default name. And also, you cannot change the name here because this, whenever you have AI here, it shows that you're playing with a computer, so you cannot change the name. But if you go here, and you tap this it shows now that you have a friendly match going on so you can go ahead and change the name for this player if you tap again here it shows you the levels where you can choose from so far we only have eight levels so if you choose level five you see it's written here AI level 5. This is the level of artificial intelligence you're playing with. And here is level 5. Again, you cannot change the name. You can only change the color. Now let's play HAN again and see how it goes. I'm gonna hit start. At any point in the game, the game can be paused. Especially if you want to 
refer to the dictionary and see if a particular word is found in the dictionary. Then you can add that word and continue your game. I'll just go with the letter A for now because A is both an English letter and an English word. I didn't want this background to be smooth transparent. I'm going to reset it. I'm going to change the background. Um, I'm not sure of these, but I just want some. Let me go with that blue. So I'm just going to hit the play. Oh, I forgot one thing. Reset again. You can change the time. The time cannot be less than five seconds. You can take anything from five seconds right up to 99 seconds. If it goes anything beyond 99, it's going to trim it and set it down to 99 seconds because it's the maximum time that can be set on the game. Now let's hit start. I like to begin with letter A because it's both a letter and a word in English. I like to put letter M here to form Ma in M. And then I could put letter H here. Um, I could put letter N here. No. Let me see. Not there. I could put letter N here. And I could put letter P here. Notice how the words are also written out here. And let me just scroll down a bit. Whenever you write, whenever you put in a letter, all the possible combinations are being shown up here. There are eight combinations. And the ones that reflect English words will be written down here also, if there are two or more. So I could go here and put spans, for example. Now we have the spans here. After the computer play, this is what we got. Um, I'm thinking of spam here. I'm thinking of spam. I could put S around here to have she, but I want to have more words than the more more than one word. So I got to look well. Mm, yeah, I could put you here to have up and oh shit, I missed it. I missed it big time. How could I? I mean, I'm the master of the game. Whatever. The people are nearby. I want to be here. Yep, I think it's finished. We just left for the last square. Let me see. Whoa, I still won. <laughs> Dang. And game over. Congratulations, Benny. You won with 22 words. And when we look down here, we see clearly that I got 22 and he got 18. And this is the last word that I spared. This is the last word that he got right. And up here, we can see it's also written that um, Ben won with 22 words. You can see this, I'm open for work. All we need to do is reset. And we're done with that.